Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today our question comes from Gary Mendenhall, uh, NV9V, November Victor 9 Victor. Uh, he says, Dave Newham here. Do I need a 20 amp dedicated circuit to operate? No. Love your videos. Thank you so much. Gary Mendenhall, Missouri. Let me show you how that works. This radio right here okay, is the ICOM 7300. And the power supply for it is right over here. This is a Samlex Power SEC1235M. That means it will put out 12 volts at up to 35 amps, and it has meters. I like the meters because I like dancing needles. Okay, you don't have to have the meters if you don't want to. Okay, the um, question here is your radio requires 20 amps, give or take, at 12, uh, I'll say 13.8 uh, volts DC. Okay, now to determine the number of watts that is, we get our handy calculator out and we're going to multiply 20 times 13.8, 276 watts. Okay, so remember power equals current times the voltage. Uh, current, uh, let's actually write it that way, I times E. E is voltage or electromagnetic force. I is the intensity or the current, and this equals the power. So we came up with 276 watts input required for 100 watt PEP to go out to the antenna. Now this 276 is not all the time. For example, if I were to go on this radio, if I were to operate this radio right here, let's turn up the volume. Go to a place where there's no signal. And now I'm going to transmit. And I want you to look at this. This is the amps right here. Testing, testing, hello test, hello test. Here's Kilo Echo Zero Oscar Golf testing. Testing, 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 KE Zero OG testing. Now let's look up here at the peak reading watt meter. Um, okay, peak is out. Hello test, hello test, hello test. Okay, you, you see that the peak, hello test, KE0OG testing, uh, the peak is up around 100, okay? But if you look down, if you go to average, hello test, hello test, the average power is actually down here quite a bit. That's just the nature of single sideband. Okay, now let's turn that down and look at what's going on. This is a peak. This is a peak. Okay, so what we want is a station over here, or a station power supply, power supply, and this puts out 13.8 volts and has the unique property that the current on this thing can vary almost instantaneously. Now what goes into this? Um, 120 volts uh, AC. Okay, now if this is putting out 276 watts, okay, you see that the peak current here to give you, let's say this thing is not quite fully efficient and we actually need 300 watts because of heat loss in here. There will be heat loss in here, of course. Okay, 300 watts. 120 volts, so we take 300 divided by 120, you get 2.5 amps. 
which will easily fit in a 15 amp circuit. Okay. Now, the magic that occurs here, the magic, I'll just call it magic, occurs here. This thing has what's called a DC to DC converter. So this power coming in is converted to DC at, um, and I'm just going to, for the sake of simplicity, it's actually a slightly different number, I'm going to call it 120 volt DC. And we need to convert it to this. And this is a DC to DC converter. So if you have high voltage, you will have low current. Because over here, you have low voltage and high current. What is being preserved here is the power. This is the current. This is the voltage. So to get the same power, as the voltage goes up, the current goes down, okay? This thing actually acts as though it's a DC transformer. Uh, some of the older power supplies actually have a transformer in here, and they convert it down to about 18 volts um, AC, and then do a full wave rectification, and then uh, do a regulation on it, which gives you the 13.8 volts. Those types of power supplies are still available, but the um, new, uh, like the uh, power supply I have right over here, is in fact uh, a new switching power supply. Okay. So the answer is uh, to your question, no, you don't. You don't need a 20 amp supply for running your normal station. What you need is simply two and a half amps that you're going to plug in there, and that's two and a half peak, like if you've got key down on CW or so, during FT8. Or, well, FT8, you're going to cut your power back anyway. But ready or something, CW, something like that. Now, if you put in an amplifier, okay, things change. Now, I'm going to show you my amplifier. Amp. Mine has a, uh, well, it's actually 16 volt input. Okay, at 75 amps. Okay, and so if we multiply that together, 16 volts times 75 amps. It's 1,200 watts of power going into the amp. What comes out of the amp is 500 watts. So we see there's 700 watts of heat, but only on peaks, only on peaks. So the power supply for this, uh, let's just, just ignore losses here. This needs to plug into a 1,200 volt Sorry, sorry, sorry. 1,200 watts. 1,200 watts divided by 120 volts. It's a 10 amp circuit. And that's for a 500 watt amplifier. Now the numbers just go through straight. If you're going to go for a 1,500 watt amplifier, you're going to multiply this by 3 and you need 30 amps. Now, a normal household circuit will not handle 30 amps. So what you're going to need to do is get a power supply for this um, that uh, plugs into two, 240 volts. Okay, and 240 volts, um, and uh, that, that number is actually going to come down there you will be able to run your amplifier in 240 volts. Now I will uh, warn you in a moment, your normal amateur radio stuff here where you're using sideband or FT8 or something like that, max two and a half amps, most of the time much less, um, 
this isn't going to really show up very much on your electric bill. But if you start putting an amplifier in there, now we're talking about things that can show up on your electric bill. Okay. And don't forget, in, when you're dealing with analog circuits and so on, there's a lot of inefficiency in class A and class AB amplification. And that uh, is generated as heat that goes into the room. And an amplifier can make a right nice little room heater. Okay. Uh, because like this one here, it's um, 1,200 watts in for 500 watts out. Now that's intermittent, of course, but still that's 700 watts difference. That's like a 700 watt heater in your home if you're keyed down a lot. Now if you take into account the 20% duty fight cycle of a single sideband, 20% of that is only 140 watts. That's not that much of a room heater, but you'll notice it after a while. Okay, so I hope this helps answer your question. To remember to take into account uh, the voltage changes as you go through it. Your rig needs 20 amps, 23 amps, whatever, on transmit. Um, key down for CW uh, or FT8 or whatever, okay? Um, that will take 20 amps out of a 13.8 uh, volt power supply. However, it acts like a transformer. It acts like an electronic uh, transformer and will only be a two and a half amp drain on your household circuit, which is uh, 250 watts, was it we figured? It's not that much, okay, and it's quite intermittent. So there you go. No, you don't need to put in a 20 amp circuit to operate your normal. Uh, 100 watt radio. If you're going to put in a great big amp, which I do not recommend uh, right away, be a ham for 10 years before you get your amp. Um, then, yeah, you're going to have to put a 240 uh, volt circuit in, and I would recommend that you get an electrician to do it because it's a major modification to your electrical system, and uh, the city probably wants you to pull a permit and they're going to want to inspect it. And if you do it wrong and there's a fire, the uh, insurance company will be very mad at you. So um, just do it right, play it safe, get an electrician and so on. I recently ran a 240 volt line uh, out to a shed we're using. Uh, one side of it is an air conditioner and the other side of it is the shed itself. So uh, we split it that way. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we've got this cute little giveaway radio uh, signal generator right here. Uh, this is built from a kit, FG085 mini DDS function generator, and it will do things like um, uh, you can go up into um, about 140 kilohertz. So it, it's good to test audio circuits and things like that. Um, it's a nice little thing. It operates on 12 volts, and uh, that will be our giveaway number seven. And uh, the drawing for that will be on the 24th of February, 2022, okay? And this is drawing number seven, so I look forward to that. Please, if you would like to help support this channel financially so we can do things like giveaways and, and get all these videos up and buy camera equipment, pay my assistant and so on. Uh, I am always very happy to receive your, your support of the channel, either via Patreon, PayPal or whatever. And uh, please subscribe, please click like, please share this video with others. And until we next meet, 73.